Father Michael Oleksa is a Russian Orthodox priest and adjunct professor of Alaska Studies at Alaska Pacific University. As a storyteller, Father Oleksa combines his passion for effective communication with 40 years of listening and learning from the traditional voices of Alaskan natives. He explains how communicating across cultures can be enhanced by learning your own story first. Thank you. Thank you very much for that kind and warm introduction and welcome. Uh, most of you know me, I think, as Father Michael Alexa. I've been around now for uh, about 40 years here in Alaska collecting stories. And I think that that's really what, what we're going to do tonight is just tell some stories, funny stories. You're allowed to laugh. It's going to be my stand-up comedy routine, uh, focusing on culture. What's your culture? As I've taught this class at the university and high school levels over the years, I've had a lot of students basically say one of two things. I know my culture very well. I'm Alaska native. I'm Inuit. I'm Shinkit. I'm uh, Unangan. Uh, I'm Dene. All these translate as I'm a human being. And then there's my wife's people, the Yupiks, whose name translates I'm a real human being. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Alaska Native people know their culture and know their identity as such. And then there's the other sort of extreme where the uh, Native American uh, are complemented by the um, Anglo-American contingent who have been here since 1620, Plymouth Rock and the Pilgrims. And they've intermarried with so many other nationalities. They'll say, well, you know, I'm just sort of an, a generic person. I'm a Heinz 57 variety. I have so many ethnic backgrounds I can't identify with any particular one. That's their ethnicity. Culture is something different. And for the purposes of our presentation tonight, uh, I will use three metaphors or definitions for culture. The first is the way you see the world. The second will be the game of life as you understand and play it. And the third will be the story into which you were born. Now, when I first came to Alaska nearly 40 years ago now, I arrived on Kodiak Island and was rather perplexed, not disappointed, but surprised that my students in the Old Harbor Day School all spoke English. They were wearing Nike Keds. They were wearing Eddie Bauer parkas. I was the only one in fourth century attire. <laughs> uh, and they were like kids anyplace else in the United States, eating pizza, listening to the same music, enjoying the same uh, jokes and stories and such as children anywhere else. Only as I remained in the village for the next decade or so did I come to this conclusion. My students did not see the world the way I did. Now, how do you stumble into that? Well, my colleagues, the rookie teachers who would come and go on a daily, not daily, but monthly, yearly basis, the um, uh, VPSO, the village safety patrol officers who came and went, the uh, people from the health corporation who came and went, the school teachers who would come for a year or two. You could hear them kind of grumbling in the middle of the fall semester. These kids. 